So right now, today, I'm gonna work on getting the console and the driver's seat out of the Suburban and probably the steering column as well. We'll see how that goes. I need to get the old pedal set out too, so here we go. Hey, real quick, if it's your first time with the channel, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, click the like button, give it the thumbs up. And if you want to catch more videos in this series or some of the other stuff I'm doing on the channel, click the subscribe button, then click the little bell to get notifications. Thanks again for watching. The console is just held in with four 10 millimeter bolts. So I'll take those out and then we'll rip this thing out. Okay, so I already took the passenger seat out and got the console out. Now I'm gonna work on the driver's seat. It's just four 14 millimeter bolts. There may or may not be covers on the back bolts to just remove with a Phillips head screwdriver. I'll show those to you right now and I'll show you how I'm gonna take the seat out. All right, there's the cover for the rear bolt, one of the rear bolts. There's one front bolt and pick it around here. There's the other one. So let's get those out. If you've got covers, you should just be able to pull them out by unscrewing them. I broke one of them. I'm not planning on reusing them anyway. And then I'm just gonna use an impact to get the, the bolts out. I like to put the bolts back in the holes so I don't lose them later, because I will. Just a couple threads in. All right, now we're gonna tackle the steering column. Initially, it's just two 15 millimeter bolts to pull it down from the dash, so that's what I'm gonna do first. I did take some pictures of the way things are connected in here. Oh, and you always want to remember to remove this guy. If I can remember how. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna have to disconnect some things to get this to come down obviously so we'll work on that too. For removing the steering column I also had to take 15 millimeter nuts off these bolts right here one right there and one across there. All right looks like I might just have to remove four bolts more to get this cover plate off to remove the uh, String column, there's one right there, one right there, and two below the column here. I don't know if I can get them in the picture. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find one over here. Uh, oh, there's one there and one there possibly a, a fifth one but i don't have that bolt so 
Oh well. And it looks like they're 10 millimeter bolts. this guy here too so we're gonna pull that out but there's a pin on the other side or bolts so we should be able to pull it through we might be able to pull the column out now after we get the retaining clip from the shifter linkage There's still a bracket that needs to come off a little bit. Alright, to get the original pedal set out, it looks like there's just one 15 millimeter bolt on the inside. And then uh, there'll be one on the outside. That's a post for a bolt on the outside. All right, now I'm gonna tackle the one on the outside. Probably. out here as well we're also gonna have to get that one there and then I'm assuming another one on the inside I can get a shot of the post <laughs> all right there was a little push clip holding the bracket for the pedal assembly on. It's a little bit looser now, but still gonna still gonna take a little bit to get this off of here. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Well, took a little prying. Had to disconnect the linkage to the rod on the master cylinder, and then pried this out from behind the dash and it's starting to come out. So I might be making some progress here. There might still be a few things connected, but we're gonna have to do some finagling to get it out of the dash. Maybe I'll look at that on video. for some of the stuff off. I don't even know what this is. Pedal set is out. Pedal set is out. 
Now we've got to transfer some stuff over and should be able to put the new one in. Okay, now I've got to transfer a few things from the old pedal set to the new pedal set. Here we go. We've got this bracket right here off the brake pedal that uh, controls the action on the uh, brake light switch. And this little switch here, which connects to a vacuum tube, um, my best guess is that that is for cruise control. So when you push the brake, it opens the switch and that lets uh, the cruise control know, uh, pulls vacuum or something, lets the cruise control know that you're hitting the brakes and the cruise control should be turned off. So this turns the cruise control off when you hit the brakes, this turns the brake lights on when you hit the brakes. Uh, so we're gonna move this bracket and then this bracket that holds the uh, the cruise control. I don't even know if mine has cru cruise control right now. I, I haven't seen the actuator under the hood, but who knows. Uh, we're gonna move that stuff now. safety switch at some point and figure out how to wire that up. Other than that, it's ready to start test fitting it in there. We'll figure out how this guy goes in too. I have to drill some holes for that. 